at the Harper car cruise today. Go check out some cars. Oh my god, I had a station wagon version of this, a Royal Monaco Brome. It had the 400 four barrel, man, did it go. Beautiful Imperial. 26,000 miles shown on the odometer. Still has a flat head in it. Yeah, it looks a lot like the 39. No. Looking good. Did you get the AC working yet? No. Familiar looking car. <laughs> looks good. I did a video on this. It's in a past video. It's Dave's Wildcat. I didn't get my uh, 63 tab for my license plate yet. Oh, you got 60. Did you register those tags to it? I, you know what I did? I went on eBay and took a picture of one that oh. somebody had for sale and I set it on the plate and, and I took then, a picture of that and, and sent it into the, the Lansing. And I figured whenever I run across one, I'll, I'll put it on. Yeah. Who cares? Looks good though. Alright. Yeah, it is. Clean. 283 two barrel. Power glide. Manual steering, manual brakes. Pala door panels and seats. Yeah, the El Camino had a little bit of Bel Air and a little bit of Biscayne in it. They like used the body side molding the Bel Air had, but they used the quarter pin molding that the Biscayne used and they didn't put the trim around the back there like the Biscayne, so it's kind of a mix of the two. Looks good though. 1950 Pontiac, what size is the engine? The displacement? I'm not even not sure. sure. Because yeah, I know my pack, I have a 49 Packer. And that was a between a couple of Chrysler 300s. Dashboards in these things are amazing. Pretty cool. Engines there, yeah, that's why that's lifted up. I got, I got rallies on it with 14 This one's pretty engine. nice. Yeah. You don't see these around too much anymore. A little 
updating. Yeah, it is pretty clean for the air. Maybe 77, 78, I'm guessing. Coupe de Ville. There are behemoth tanks. You had a 76, didn't you? Yeah, so I guess I was way off on there at 79. This thing's awesome. Somebody must have bought it. Yeah, it's clean, isn't it? Well, that steering wheel on the dash. Yeah, it's got pretty nice seats in it, too. They put towels on it, looks like, to protect it. I don't think they, I don't think they were asking it, though. No? I can't remember what it was. Yeah, what a neat car. Yeah, there it is, totally. We're just talking about this. This was in one of my past videos too. Walking around on Woodward. How you doing? <laughs> now what's that out of? You know? Oh, it's just a standard 350 Chevrolet. <laughs> yep. Standard 350 Chevy. It's overdrive trans and stuff like that. Yeah. Maybe it goes down the road 70 miles an hour like nothing else. Makes it good and usable. If I was I'm taking some Calvary next weekend. What are you asking for? 11.5. That's a lot more dead than the drive trailer. Oh, yeah, I bet with the air suspension and everything. Yeah, we got the new Ranger in our shop right now. All right, this is in a past video. I just got them to open up the hood, finally talking to the owner. Has those, uh, Cool pipes out the side that function. 1947 Buick. All original body. And now I'm just telling you money back up. I have my phone on. This looks like an original paint. One Chevy. It's like that 51 I look at, except for this is an automatic. It's got a power glide in it, so this would have the 235 in it. And when I looked at that pulley, had broke apart and got caught and jammed the crank. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Looks like a a little bit of patina in the paint, but it's damn nice for the air. Uh, cruising with the way of life. If you cruise Hartford, if you cruise uh, Woodward, if you cruise Telegraph Road, anywhere you cruise, it was a way of life. Look at that dash. It's all spelled out. Oil pressure, temperature, battery. And these are definitely a luxury car. The old Cadillac LaSalle or LaSalle Cadillac. No V8 in this pickup. Go boating, life jackets, bobbers. I've shown these in past videos, but I like them.
slick. Of course, we got a marine battery in a, in a boat and a bilge pump. Yep. Said it's a Triumph four bag. <laughs> Yeah, it doesn't have the 66 dash in it anymore. I don't think that's a 66 engine either. So this is the first time down to Harper to see the cars. That looks like a clean 71 Ford. Those cars were rust buckets, so to see one that clean, well, that 71 Ford, how clean that thing is. That 71 Ford, look at how clean that is. Those were rust buckets. So everything on the lower car part of the car yeah, is new. Yeah, all down there. And he really matched it up good. I mean, he was real. He was a body man for uh, Jaguar. He does a lot of custom cars. That looks good under the hood. Yeah, you know, it just. This was in Sterling Heights, wasn't it? Uh, it was in Clinton Township. Oh, Clinton Township. Oh, okay. That looks really good. 383? Uh, 318. Just so my dad, my dad will see this video. Oh, okay. <laughs> so, so he'll say hi to you. <laughs> How you doing, Tom? <laughs> and that's that new uh, generator. That's the that's converted to an alternator. Yeah. Uh huh. Well, these nice. are tough to work on, eh? Yeah, no room. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds good. Take care, Dave. An all original sixty three Buick Wildcat. Beautiful survivor. Hopefully I show up, it's getting dark, but anyway, I'm going to head home, and uh, it was a nice cruise, and Keith's got his Dodge Pioneer here, and uh, so again, if you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, and thank you for watching. And Nine Mile a Mound, that's the Warren stamping plant for Chrysler. Waiting for the light.